Hello everyone, hi, hello, welcome back to Sammy Vostok and in this video, yeah, I've done a little bit off camera already, but I hope you all don't mind. Uh, this area is basically going to be a inner city industrial area and if you haven't noticed in the past few episodes, the commercial and in not office, uh, yeah, office, commercial and office buildings have been really, really dying to have more industrial space and I I will admit I've been putting it off for quite some time and since I saw the release of the new industrial industries DLC pack whatever you want to call it I think that's really great timing because it's about time that I really got into doing some more industrial space in the whole city so this area here yeah it is quite close to that luxury peninsula just on the other side of the water but you will see towards the end of the video that I do kind of separate the view uh, and this area here is a entrance and exit ramp now I do generally leave it like that but there are some small changes that I will make later on to make it flow a lot more easier and I I don't know why I started filming uh, started building this without actually filming I, I kind of just got I don't know what happened just got out of hand I just kept going and I don't know I always always do that but anyway so the plan for this whole area is to make one big large industrial area a lot of factories and then a lot of office buildings now the offices are going to be the larger buildings that actually block the image of the factory area so if you're on the luxury peninsula area on the other side of the river all you're going to see mostly is nice luxury office towers basically not huge towers but kind of medium density now you you still will see some uh industrial buildings but generally i didn't want that to just be their view and on the other side so this part here that i'm just building now where that road was that is going to be a place where I will end up putting some very low socioeconomic type housing. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some real life examples of what I'm about to say, but generally you don't want to have really high density or nice buildings next to a industrial estate. So for the buildings in the surrounding areas are going to be generally uh, like cheap housing for mostly the workers in this whole area. Now. It's now, so the area that I'm working on now, this is going to be part of a more nicer area for the whole area that we're working on today. So there's going to be the parking lot, which kind of symbolizes the, almost like the main area of this whole area. So next to the par car park is going to be open green space. So since there's going to be a lot of offices in the area, they're going to want to go outside and sit and just relax. Uh, and then on the other side of that is going to be the main road which is actually a very very fast road now the speed limit for that is 130 kilometers per hour and i know what you're thinking like oh my god that is really really fast i probably do want to change that a lot right because it's you'll see towards the end of the video that the area that it goes through it's a very built up area and if you're walking on the side of the the road like you're going to get blown away you might get like sucked in or like if a truck goes past like Oh my god there's going to be so much wind so I, I definitely should slow it down now so this area what i'm building in now is going to be kind of like the separation i don't know what you want to call it but it's the, the separation from the low industrial to the nice office areas and as i was saying just a few minutes ago i want to build the low socioeconomic area around the um this whole area just as uh, the plan for that is to make it like a buffer zone so you have the Usually you might have the industrial and then you have some offices and then you have commercial and then you have housing, so residential. But for me, I've kind of jumped from industrial and then it goes straight into low socioeconomic housing. So the economic, the low, low socioeconomic housing is going to be based all around this whole area just to help for the need of workers in this whole area. And this area that I, I actually built in it, but I actually choose to demolish the buildings that are in it. Um, I don't know why I did that, but because I, I knew I wanted to do a park there, but then I just left it there. So I don't know what I don't know what's going on in my head, but I do make a park. So you can see I'm deleting it now. So that's where the park is going to be, and I like this the shape of the park because the the road layout it really made me think this looks like a good spot because it's right up against all of the commercial and office, and then it's right up right along the main road as well. Now something that I've been trialing. A little bit on um, in this video in the last video and off camera a lot as well is doing a lot of mixed use development 
So you can see right here, the base of this whole area is commercial, but all of the higher buildings are office buildings. So the reason why I want to do that is because it's actually very, very realistic. If you go into a city, into the downtown area, you don't just have one large building with nothing at the bottom. Usually at the bottom, you would have a whole bunch of shops that line the street, and then you look up and then there is all of the office buildings or whatever up there. So having all of the commercial at the bottom really livens up the whole area. It makes it look really more inviting, and I really just like the whole image that it creates. So that's something that I did in the last video in the whole big development area. Um, and it, I think it really, really made the area look really, really alive. And we do work on that area just a tiny little bit, getting the um, the main road connection going. And there is this really cool road that I am going to use at the end of this video. Um, I remember I used it in, uh, what's it called, Inselstadt. It's a really, really cool little road that you, it's one way. Um, you can use it for a whole lot of different things. And it's really cool because it just connects to so many different little areas like it's a great for it's great for little slip roads and things like that it's not this one that i'm doing right here but you'll see and it's a really great one that i used to connect to that really fast main road the one that i was talking about that's 130 kilometers per hour um, and i'd really recommend using it it's in my mods and asset list i just put it there because i know someone's going to ask and i'm going to be using a lot more of it but i shouldn't be talking about it yet because we should actually see it before we actually get to it right so anyway back to what, what i'm doing here so there's the train station there and I just made a very easy walkway over the main road because I mean they can still cross the main road technically but I'm going to ban them from crossing it so they all use the bridge. Now there are different types of bridge bridges that you may have seen me use. There's the elevator one and then just the normal bridge. Now they are in my mods and asset list if you want to go in them. Go and have a look. It's the mods and asset list for this city not the St. Petersburg list. Um, so they're pretty cool to have and so I thought it was really handy to have a train station in this area because there's not going to be a huge amount of people in this area. It's going to be quite low on residential areas, right? Because it, it is a lot of industrial area and like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to live there, right? Would you? I don't think you would. Um, so it's only for, only the people that live there are like the really like, oh, they're really desperate. Like they really want to live there. Um, so it's really handy to have the train there and in the future, I will most likely update this road right here to one that has the bus lanes in it, just to help the flow get going. But for now, we I don't think I really need to worry about that because like it's traffic's not that bad yet. But when the whole city downtown area is done, oh my god, the traffic is going going to be a nightmare. Um, but you know what? I'm really really looking forward to managing all of the traffic and like putting in public transport and doing like slip lanes and things like that that part is what really excites me and i really can't wait i just hope my game's not super laggy and i know i put in some palm trees but you know what since you guys had such like you all like went a little bit crazy in the last episode because i put palm trees i thought you know what i'll put more in so my city do what i want and like i'm sure palm trees can grow anywhere i'm sure they grow up in sweden for all i know but i just think they look pretty cool anyway um now i put in the ground wall barrier there just to kind of separate the dirty industrial from the nice office buildings and the plan was if you didn't notice the layout that i've used the industrial area around the roundabout all of that is actually lowered down so it's surrounded by hills basically so i put all of the industrial area in the middle so you can't really see it that much it's really really covered um, and then on the other side is all of the high office buildings. So it's it's really, really covered. So that was my plan because I know a lot of people are going to be like, Sam, what are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. But you know what? We need some inner city industrial areas. And when the new uh, expansion pack comes out, I am so excited because I'm like, I feel like suddenly my whole city is going to be very industrialized, which is kind of familiar for like a Russian type city anyway. So there's going to be a lot of Russian, but I'm still going to do it in like a nice way that I've been doing. I'm not just going to do it like really feral and like gross. Um, so I'm still going to do it in some kind of classy way. I'm just afraid it's going to break all the mods. And so when that comes out, which is, I think it's the 24th in Australia, it's probably usually, usually they come out at like 1 a.m. or something on the 24th, which is a day after when it's announced to come out. Um, so if I suddenly disappear for a few days, it's because everything is broken 
Um, but yeah, I'm still really excited. So this, anyway, back to the video. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is the little park area. Now I put in a tree barrier between the main roads. I put a tree barrier between the factories you can see right there on the right side of the park. Um, it's just separating it all up and then they have the car park which I put another tree barrier. Um, I, I put those trees in there but then I was like you know what they're kind of too high for the whole area. So I delete them, delete them and put a lower type of tree. Um, yeah I'm fussy with trees you know. <laughs> um, and then the buildings I put in a few little cafes and things but I just used the ones that came with park life and honestly they're pretty cool little buildings to fill in the whole area and it really livens up the whole area as well I just wish there was more like you can use the ones from the amusement park pack but those ones are like really colorful and funky and don't really look good and just like a generic type park area so hmm so maybe there's more is there more you can download I don't know um, I, maybe I need more food trucks. I love my food trucks. They're so good. Uh, does anyone else love the food trucks? They're just so good for like filling in little spaces like that. I don't know. They just they just look cool. Um, and then I put the people generator. I don't think I'd do it on camera, but I put the people generator to make it seem... And I had some trouble trying to get the fence in line, but I put the people generator to make it look like there's more going on. And... I feel like the developers of this this game, they're probably getting towards the end of making different packs for this whole thing, right? But I just hope there's one last thing where it's like, I don't know what you'd call it, but I just want more in depth. Like, I want to see some parades happening. I want to see them riot. I want to see, um, like, big crime issues. I want to see different, I just want to see different little things randomly happening. And I feel like, is that something that people would buy? I'm sure some of you would, but like... Mm, I don't know, but I, th I feel like that's something cool that they should do just for the last thing Even if it's not like the main thing of the last DLC pack, but it should be something that they put in before they finish the whole area So that would be cool or like even if that for example like if they didn't like a certain public transport Then they all start protesting or if like if there's not enough police then they start chanting or like I don't know I don't know. I just want something cool like that because right now I don't know, I, I remember, I'm just, I'm comparing it to SimCity 4, let's be honest. SimCity 4, you'd zoom in and you'd find a random protest and it's like, what? What's going on here? What's going on? And that was such a cool thing, or you'd see, um, you'd, I loved how in SimCity 4, you could see the different crimes that were going on. <laughs> that was so cool, and you see the prostitution and stuff. <laughs> oh, so good. But anyway, you can see now that the whole area, it's really starting to come together. Um, and then on the main road, you can see once it loads, but you can see there's a lot of larger buildings that block the view of the um, industrial area. Okay, now I'll admit I did do some little things off camera like this. So I went to the workshop to download something. I came back, forgot to press record. This is the outcome. So the plan here, okay, let's go through. Um, oh, these are the little roads I was talking about as well. They're really cool. You can use them in so many different spaces. But anyway, um, let's talk about what you just saw just a second ago. There was like this weird, it's almost like a diamond interchange type thing. But keep in mind, this main road here is like a mini highway going through the city. So I don't want to have to stop them and hold the traffic up. So the reason why I'm elevating the connections and doing slip lanes on and off like a highway is so the traffic can zoom past like they are right now. And I am really enjoying the fact that so many of my my sims, my people, are using this this little main road as like a highway to get from different areas. And I know there's a lot of people walking around on the little slip roads. I don't know where they're going. I think they're going to that main shop there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But if we come back here, Yes, it, it looks a little funny, right? But the traffic here was starting to become a little bit of a nightmare. Generally, you have an issue if you have like a lot of industrial space at a big intersection, right? It's it's a bit annoying. So right now, the cars, if they want to go straight through, they just go straight over. It's not really interfering with them at, at all. And if they want to turn off, they just go into the, to the little slip lane. And I... Like, I kid you not, as soon as I did that, the traffic went away. It's exactly what it needed. Um, it, it is exactly what it needed. Now, this highway connection here, I didn't want to put that connected directly to the mini main road as well. Um, because if I did that, all of the traffic would try to go on that main road. But right now, the all of the hi the highway entrance and exit exiting people... I. If you didn't notice, I distribute them 
uh, with that roundabout and also the tunnel so they pretty much have the choice of going basically whichever direction they want it's very spread out now that's this is something that I notice a lot of people um, don't do so a lot of you will do a highway connection and you'll do one single road that connects up to another main road and that's where a lot of your traffic issues will come from and then a lot of you are like well what's wrong with my my city what's wrong with it well it's probably the one lane you need to make sure that you have a good connection especially in an area that is high traffic um, this area here is the start of the low socioeconomic housing so also, if you're not familiar with what low socioeconomic means, it basically means poor people, right? It, it's like um, council housing or uh, I don't know what else you'd call it, but it's like just cheap housing. Um, and so I didn't put in much parking because I thought they'd probably just go to the industrial area and it's really close. They could just walk there or they could walk to the train station, which is literally like a 10 meter walk away and they can literally go to anywhere in the city and as of right now there's no no other public transport i didn't even put in a bus or anything so they're going to be fit that's for sure but um so they will only work in this industrial area or they'll catch the uh, the train so that's all um and i want to do a few more of these in this um like above the roundabout there but i'm like do i really want to do it that close to the all of the industrial area I don't know, I'll, I'll have to do like some kind of buffer and I was thinking should I do a park buffer but then even if it's a park like who wants to go walking in a park that's right next to a dirty industrial area like mm, not me uh, so yeah I don't know it probably will do like some kind of cheap commercial and oh my god I couldn't I couldn't click on the fence it was so annoying I couldn't click on it Ugh, nightmares anyway um, these buildings here I think I feel like this is the first time I used them but I've had them for so 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 long and I love that they, they're all the same type of building and they have different types of heights and densities and things like that. And I forgot to look at how many people actually live here. Damn it, I forgot to look. Ugh. But I'm sure it will help regardless because as soon as I built this area, the industrial and the offices, they were like, hey, we need people, we need people. So yeah, hopefully that helps. I'm just putting in some little play playgrounds there for them now. And honestly, I really love how the city is turning out. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, and it's completely different from anything that I've done on camera. Keep that in mind. Off camera, I, I, I've actually built a huge Russian city before. But you know what? I accidentally saved over it. <laughs> and I lost the whole thing. Oh, God. I was so annoyed. Oh, and I, for some reason, I called it Mud Town. And it was such a good city. I really wanted to upload it for you guys. But I can't believe I saved over it. And then I built another one, another city, which was, um, if you, I don't know who, which YouTuber it was, the map called Senu, S-E-E-N-U, um, like, is that Flux Trance or something? Um, I built on that whole island map, I built this really huge modern city, and again, I accidentally saved over it and overrided the whole thing, and I couldn't get it back, and I was like, oh, god damn it, I want that back. Oh, because I wanted to upload that again for you guys and like I wanted to use that for like little tutorial videos And then you guys would be like, oh, what's this city you got here? You haven't shown us yet Yeah, I wanted to be like all mysterious and like show my other work But <laughs> now I only mostly do this city. I have another one, but I don't really do much um, so you can see a lot of traffic is coming in here, which is which is good and They ha they can come up here, but I up actually updated this road so they can only turn left now I know that could be annoying, but sometimes you go to areas and you just can't go whichever way you want. You Sometimes you are directed like left or only right or something or only straight ahead, which is annoying. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it and um, hopefully it doesn't cause too much of an issue. I feel like I, I knew it would be an issue putting this road connection here. So that's why I made sure that they can only turn left. Um, so yeah, if they, if they really want to turn, they can go up there, do a U-turn and then come back. I don't know what else. Is there another word for U-turn or is that like international? I don't know. But yeah, this is getting towards the end of the video and this is like the main, for like for this part here, I was like, should I do a little park area? But I was like, you know what? No, I don't want to. I don't, I don't have to do a park. So I just put in some parking spots. So something completely different, but I knew I wanted to leave an open space between the train station and the um the main road there and i know it's not a line but you know what it's fine i don't really i don't really worry too much okay guys so i think that's all i did and if we just look at this yes i know that there's some cars turning where they shouldn't be turning and 
going here and doing U-turns there, I forgot to adjust some little things, so sue me, right? Like, there's some little things that I need to change, but that's pretty much it. I think in the next episode, I might do some more uh, residential in this area, just a quick little speed build at the front of the video, um, just because I'm sure there's a lot of people that are needed still in this whole area. So thank you guys for watching, and um, also don't forget to let, let me know what you think of this video, like what's going on in your mind. I just want, I, like, I just like to know what's going on, what you're thinking about it so far. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. I hope so. Okay, bye.